guys. Today we're going to learn about how to use your Remax URL shortener. Some examples of links that may be too long to easily share would be things like virtual tours, YouTube videos, listing websites, blogs, articles you want to share to social media, Facebook event links like client parties and open houses. There's lots of reasons you can use this easy tool. So we're going to start out in our Mac Center. Open up to where you see all these tiles. You're specifically looking for your Remax URL shortener tile, looks like this. You can click it and it'll open up a new tab for you with a custom URL shortener app. Come over to the internet in an alternate tab where you have something selected, the link that's too long to easily share otherwise. So in this case, I've gone to Matrix and I found a property I want to share with my buyer or my seller. I've got it selected and I hit the share button populates this really long link for me, which I can right click and copy. I'm going to take this excessively long link back over to my Mac Center URL shortener and in the top right I'm going to hit the red create link button, right click paste that long URL, hit the create link button. It's created this nice short URL out of this really long one that we started with, which is great. We can do better and make it even more share friendly by hitting the edit button. Updating to this something easy to remember. In this case, it was um, 2423 and then the property street. So we'll just name it 2423 street. Update. And so now when I want to share this, I would just be able to tell someone to go to rem.ax slash 2423 street, whatever your property address was go from here and I can hit the copy button it's on my clipboard now and I can paste that into an email or even better if I'm doing this from my cell phone I can paste it into a text or a note to save for later when I get a sign call on this property or I can just come over here and hit the share button and it's straight to my social media that's cool in itself but what's even neater is once you've done this you then have access to the click history on this link so let's use an example Here's one with three clicks. Back in July, I had sent out it was a link I had put on my Facebook business page. All three clicks came from Facebook business page. Here's one in October that also had three clicks. It's like two of them were direct, so I sent this link out via text, and one of them was through Remax.com, so probably a listing or something. So hopefully you guys can see the value in this and how easy it is to use to shorten your long links and make them more easy to remember and share. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.